Imagine spending hours making an obby, just for it to be called bad. Well, that's exactly what happened to me. My friend Noob called my obby bad, Bruh. just because. It's too small! So in this video, I made 10 Roblox obbies, each getting smaller and smaller, while my friends rated them all. And with the final obby being 10 by 10 studs, I will be showing it to Noob. First, I'm going to be making an obby with a plot size of 100 by 100 studs. This shouldn't be too difficult since this is the largest plot in this entire video, right? I immediately came up yes, with an sir. idea, a difficulty chart. Obby. So I started building in the plot starting with the easiest difficulty. Then, I moved on to easy, then medium then. What? How did I already run out of space? I deleted a few stages and added more difficulties. Then, I added the final difficulty, a single jump. But then, I realized something. This entire obby was so short, because of how small I made the obby. Maybe Noob was right, but I didn't give up. I lowered the jump power and speed of the player. Then, I deleted everything, and I started all over again, starting with the easiest difficulty. Then, I moved on to easy, then medium then. I finally did it. I made the gameplay longer, but this was only the first obby. I didn't even get one of my friends to rate it. How would I finish in time? But I was still determined. I called my friend Epic and asked him to rate my obby. I wasn't expecting it to be the best obby, but I still got a pretty good rating. I'll give this a 4 out of 10. It's kind of boring and I think you need better decorations. I knew exactly what to improve on for my next obby. This plot was now 90 by 90 studs. First, I decided to build a simple forest obby. I made some platforms, then some trees and bushes. Finally, I put them in the obby and found out the obby was very short. It was very boring. Noob was right. No, I couldn't give up. I asked my other friend Noobie to rate my obby so I could make my next obbies better. Uh, this obby is just bad. Zero tenths. With everything going downhill, I gave up. Just kidding. I was not going to give up. At least, for now. This plot will be 80 by 80 studs. My next obby was going to be about a desert obby. I wanted it to be similar to one of my obbies. I played my obby and had an idea. What if I made it, but smaller? So I tried it. I started with the base. Then, I added similar platforms and a similar pyramid. I didn't think it was that bad. I asked my friend obby creator player to rate this obby and he said, Hum, a 5 out of 10. I think you need more creative and new jumps. The gameplay is a bit repetitive, and there isn't a lot of decoration. The plot is now 70 by 70 studs. For my next obby, I want to aim for an 8 out of 10. I chose to make an ice obby since that was a pretty creative idea. I started by adding simple jumps, each getting more and more difficult. Wow, I'm already done with my obby. Wait, that's because this plot is only 70 by 70 studs. Imagine how fast I would finish my last obby. Uh, ask my friend Super Piggy to rate my obby. This is a 3 out of 10. I hate the gameplay. And there's no decorations. What? Why did this obby get a lot worse? I thought my obbies would get a higher rating each time. That's when I realized I hadn't listened any of the criticism. I was too busy of finishing the obby to finally reach the last one that I didn't even think about what I should have changed in my obbies. The next obby I make has to get better. I decided to make a water obby. I added cool decorations and non-repetitive gameplay. I added fun jumps and even a win area. My confidence was rising. I showed this to my friend Epic again, and he said, Wow, this obby is a lot better. I'll give the gameplay a 7 out of 10, and for the decorations. What the hell? This was great for me. All I had to do was keep this up everything went wrong. I couldn't think of an obby idea, and even worse, Noob had to go on vacation today, which meant I wouldn't be able to show the 10x10 obby to him. I had to rush these last obbies. I came up with a normal obby. It wasn't too interesting, but it was all I could think of. I added simple jumps, and finished the obby. I was not happy with this obby. I showed my friend Newbie again and I thought that other obby you showed me was bad, but this is the worst obby I have ever seen in my life. My confidence ran out. What was I going to do? I had already come this far, but I gave up. 
So did you make the small obby yet? No, but then I had an idea. I was going to make the 10 by 10 obby now. I decided to make a C5 obby that gets more and more difficult and reduces the player's jump and walk speed like the difficulty chart obby. Uses different platforms like the forest obby. Follows a pro path like the desert obby. Is creative like the ice obby. Has unique jumps like the water obby and is not like the simple obby at all. I started by making simple spaceships and putting them in the obby. There's no way this is going to work. Maybe Noob was correct after all. Accepting this fact, I decided to delete the plot and make the obby with this entire space. This obby was not the best. But what had I done all this for? Well, after building all these obbies, we can all agree that they were bad. But that made me understand that the size of the obby didn't fully affect how good my obbies were. It was the time I had to build them. If I had spent more time building the simple obby, it could have gone from the worst obby to the best obby in this video.